Welcome back to another episode of Simply Unprofessional. I'm your host, Webby. Tonight, we got Devin. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Webby's not in a good mood. Devin, first and foremost, can I just tell you how much I appreciate you? Can only if you'll let me tell you how much I appreciate you. (laughs) Sure. All right. This is one of those days where... You know my week has not been great. And even going into the intro, I can tell that the listeners know that I'm not in the greatest of moods right now. Because I'm not upbeat. I'm not doing my normal intro voice. And you even stepped up to be that more upbeat Devin to counter my sullen (laughs) webby tone. I did, because I knew you were sullen and you wouldn't shoot me down this time. (laughs) I very much appreciate it. Um, so this week we had a topic and we were going to have a guest shit happens people and he went, he went Hollywood on us unfortunately he went fucking Hollywood on us he was like you know what I'm too fucking big league for you guys uh, I need at least five grand up front yeah. uh, otherwise I'm, I can't do the show and we we're like well um, have a nice life <laughs> Effectively is how that went down. I mean, not for nothing. We're not allowed to divulge who this person is because we don't want you going out there and like tweeting at them, asking them. It was Guy Fieri. It was Guy Fieri. No, Uh, we're not allowed to say things like that. I'll say it. It was Guy Fieri. (sighs) The internet's punching bag, Guy Fieri. That's who it was. The person's name that we're referring to does not rhyme with Sin Easel. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to have, like... And then everybody's going to tweet him. He's going to be like, what the fuck is this shitty podcast? And then maybe we actually, we actually might be a guest for once. You ever think of that one? Yeah, right. Whatever. But Webby... My life just... Can I just say, can I just say Sin Easel sounds like a... Uh, um, it's like an Sin- evil Bob Ross. <laughs> no, Sin Evil sounds like a stupid, like, I don't even know. I don't like it, though. Well, all right, Devin, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to try to do this whole, like, magicians, like, behind the curtain pretending that we have a million of these things banked. It's Thursday. Uh,. <laughs> This past weekend, we had our anniversary stream. I thought it was actually a pretty good turnout. I had fun. Um, We got to play a couple different games with some fans. And then we got to play a few different games that Goose ran us through. Uh, Goose was DMing a few of our games. Uh... But the real, I guess, impactful part came after the stream. You had me try this game with you. And my God, it really got to me. I'm sorry. Uh, I figured going into this, I figured, okay, even if it's kind of creepy... There are three other people playing, because there was four of us playing. It was me, you, Tamara, and Edquist. And I figured, okay, I can just, you know, I'll just crack some jokes. And, you know, they'll, they'll, they all love horror movies, so they'll be, you know, they'll be cracking jokes. And they'll be, you know, laughing and stuff. Some of you guys were equally as creeped out, which really did not help. Uh, yeah, dude, we ended up, we, 
I'm, I'm going to admit this to the listeners. We had to stop playing because I pushed out. <laughs> I, I, I got to the point where I, I, I would put my character in the corner, face down, turn off my flashlight. I had to like look away from my screen, take my headset off. I had, to, you know, I'd actually breathe, like control my breathing. I was shaking. It's, it was, I don't know what it was about that game. It had all of the things that I hate about horror in it. Um, you know, because, like, I can I can do some horror. I mean, we've done horror stuff for, like, the, you know, October, the month of October, we do all horror stuff. You know, I've watched horror movies. But it's... Little pale girls really bother me. <laughs> Little pale people, I should say. Because, like, the ring, the chick from the ring bothers me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little the little uh, Asian Asian kid from that Sarah Michelle Gellar movie, I think she was, she was the one that, which one was that in? The boy who hisses like a cat. You know which one I'm talking about? I... You... If you don't, man, go take a look at that kid. He's, yeah, the grudge, he's, the grudge. The grudge, yeah. He's super pale, too. I don't like super pale kids. It's not good. Go out there and get some vitamin D, kids. Um, so it has the, the main person hunting you in this one house is a little pale girl. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't like anything about her. The dolls didn't really creep me out. I didn't mind the like the giggling and the little pitter patter of doll footsteps. I got past that real quick. The fucking jump scare. I that's what really gets me when it comes to horror stuff. I don't do jump scares well. Um so like the constant jump scare and if it wasn't like that like the girl jumping out and freaking me out it was you guys constantly like it'd be really quiet for a second then all of a sudden Tamara or you would just scream because she started she was chasing you guys I'd be nowhere near you but you guys screaming would make me jump everything about that night really got like un- it it, un- it unwound me <laughs> like <laughs> I'm I have not been the same since Devin <laughs> um I will say that you you did promise that you'd never make me play that game, and I told you when you said that that I very much thank you for saying that. You know, half of me thanks you for saying that, but the other half of me was like, God damn, we were so close to beating that because <laughs> we only needed the one more doll. <laughs> so, and then you, and then I told you in chat that I was going to play again with you guys because we we have to beat it, and you. Uh, what was the wording you used? You uh, you banned me. You banned me from playing this game. Uh, there are very few things I've been banned from in my life, Devin. I don't approve. I think Devin left me now. Devin left no, me just like our I'm, guest left me. No, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Oh, well, you're not saying anything. I'm trying. I'm, you're, I you're keep talking, like, I I'm, keep. Well, no, talking. I keep like. I keep like lobbing the ball in your direction, and then like when you don't pick it up and roll with it, I just continue the the words. I feel like a ping I mean, pong. I hear you. I'm listening to what you're saying. I'm just trying to like you. You pause, but then like it sounds like you're ranting and like you're just trying to like, collect your thoughts, and you go out ranting in a bad way. But like you're saying what you got to say, you like pause to collect your thoughts, and then you move on. Nah, well, I mean, those general pauses are normally where you would interject your thoughts. Right, but it, it seems more like you were just trying to collect thoughts as opposed to... Nah. nah, that's pretty much my thought. Okay. Well, Webby didn't have a good time with this game. I told him I would never make him play it again, and that's just kind of how that went down. Yeah, but I offered to still play only because no, we, only, got, we only needed the one the fucking thing. doll I'm not left. letting you do that. But we only needed the one doll. I don't. I don't care. Uh, well, thankfully the game was cheap. <laughs> yes. Um. 
Have you played Dead by Daylight since they brought out new people? Not at all, no. No, me neither. I haven't even seen any of the new people. No, I haven't at all. And some people, you know, some of you listeners out there, you're going to be like, oh, Webby, you've, we've seen you play Dead by Daylight and you get freaked out, but it's a whole separate beast. Yeah, yeah, Devin, I've been on stream with Devin and I freaked out when the pig first came out. Uh, we we got that captured on stream. That game's a whole different beast. That game's a whole different beast. Yeah. The, I will say, I, game, there is though. a YouTube video I want to show you. It is this involved a game I said you're never allowed to play again. However, I'm only going to show you like one part of the YouTube video because I just thought it was hilarious. Um, but that's that's it. You're not allowed to watch anything else. I will say for for the for you listeners out there, and I mean if you if you see this game, the game's called Pacify. First off, if you go and you watch it and you and you think, oh, this game's not scary, blah blah blah, do us all a favor. Keep keep your words to yourself, okay? Because it really did get to me. I'm I'm not even joking. Um. It's been a long time since something has freaked me out as bad as that did for whatever reason, whatever the reason. I, like I said, I think it's just an, a, an accumulation of all the things I hate about horror stuff. And I don't enjoy being afraid. Uh, I don't like being scared that like that sense of adrenaline or whatever that some people like really strive for. But um, if you do want to see it, uh, if you go to my Twitch channel, I think it's probably still on there. I think I, I think my my channel archives videos should it should have a video of me watching or playing it because it was the last game that I've streamed so far. You can see me just literally shaking my head at how how uh, disapproved I was about the whole ordeal. Don't blame me. Um, I do find uh, I will say that. Um, every time she was kind of chasing us or chasing somebody, uh, every time I hid in a corner and just turned off my flashlight and looked down, I didn't get bothered. So that might be a really good defense. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, you're not going to accomplish anything doing it that way. It didn't help either that the first time we played through, the one key got glitched up on the roof. Yeah, that's true. Then we just, I just heard a scream. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What are you watching? Are you trying to get that YouTube video? No. Oh, what was that scream in the background? That was magic. That your magic screamed at you? Uh, the guy attacked, and I guess it had a uh, a sound. Ugh. Sounded like that chick screaming. I was like, God, everything. Yeah. Everything's that chick now. Uh, it wouldn't have been as bad, I don't think, if we just, like... We're all joke like like I said, I was going into it expecting you guys to like joke around a lot more about the whole ordeal, but like a lot of us like all of us were kind of freaked out by the whole premise of it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it was not good. It was no bueno. It was a no bueno situation. And Anthony was watching us, and there was that one point where I just physically I gave up and I just started like going after her. Uh. And, uh, and I remember Anthony's like, oh, see, it doesn't bother Webby anymore. It's just like, no, I'm just, I feel, I feel dead inside. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just, it's, nothing's getting to me anymore. I just, uh, oh, man, this week, this week's, it's been a week, Devin. It's been a week, man. Uh, how long is this? We've only been talking for th 13 minutes. <laughs> it's going to be either the shortest SU episode or the longest feeling SU episode <laughs> ever recorded. I mean, kind of the same thing, aren't they? At this point, <laughs> kind of the same thing. At this point, I mean, let's. Oh man. Uh. Yeah. Hey, man. I, I honestly, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. I have not. I dropped the ball on this one. I should have had a backup topic. Uh, we, we we had a topic idea in mind, but to, to be completely 100% honest, this topic, uh, the idea that we had for today's episode, really, it would work primarily better had we had a second person or a third person on the, on the show. Um, 
it, it, I don't I just I don't feel like it would work well just me and Devin for the setup that we were gonna do for it because uh, there's gonna be like a little game style thing. Um. So we, I mean we can we can pocket that one until we get somebody else. It's fucking guy sure. guy fury fucking bailed. You know what we should do? We should get fucking Gordon Ramsay on here so he can just tell us how shit we are. Now I can be like, "Hey, Gordon, you're in my fucking kitchen," and I'll just disconnect him from the call. I'd love to hang up on somebody fucking famous like that. Yeah. Just have the last word click. <laughs> the only problem is then he'd be in our Discord and he'd be he would have been invited to the Discord thing and he'd just keep popping in. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. Oh, you know who we didn't invite in here? <sighs> Fucking Craig. You're recording, right? I am, yeah. I, 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 I just now that I realized that Craig's not in here, I double checked to make sure it's still recording. My OBS likes to act up sometimes. Um, yeah, man, I don't have I don't have anything else to talk about really. I uh, like. I'm sure I have a lot to talk about. It's just with the mood and the mindset that I've been in. I just don't. I guess I don't. I don't even know what I. I'm having a hard time formulating words, like thoughts into words. I don't like it. I got you. Hey, not to spoil anything for everybody, but tomorrow we have our distractions uh, uh, recording. Um, for whenever the next episode of that gets released, Devin, are you mentally prepared for that? For you what? don't you don't mentally get prepared for any of those distractions recordings, huh? No. You guys are going really. into a boss fight. And I know yeah, like I, mean, I know the boss fights generally are like, well, you know, it's a webby boss fight, so they're just you guys are gonna steamroll it. No, I mean it's not even just that, like I I just know what I need to do and I mean I kinda just know what I need to do with Tez regardless, so it's kind of a situation where like whatever. Well, I mean I will tell point. you I'm gonna have to take a look at the staff that you acquired from Atticus's old staff. I gotta take a look at that a little more closely before tomorrow. Um, I will say tomorrow's boss fight had me kind of nervous, and it, it made me do something that I've never done before. I <laughs> I I play tested this boss fight using all mm-hmm. of your guys' characters by myself, essentially making each move. Rolling a dish for everybody, making each move the way I would as your characters. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was able to beat the boss. I, I did it three times, not all in one sitting either. Just back to back boss fights. Fuck that. Um, I did it three times. See, that's creepy as fuck already. Just looking I, at I it. Agree. Um, I agree. I beat the boss three times. But each time, so at least one the chance, of the party members has died. That's fine. Um, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> like, you just don't even care. I mean, I, I can make sure it's not me, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> God, I have a little sympathy for your party members. Look, it's about time somebody as party a DM. Died. I really don't want to kill you guys, it's but a, it, it, it's about time somebody died. Wow, you hear that, everybody? I mean, right. technically, let's look. Okay, Atticus has died, and so has Tez. I've lost two characters, and then okay, we, we we brought right. Tez back. No, 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 but Tez no. died. No, no, no. All right. First off, Tez died First... via story. Yeah, because me Still. and you talked about that. True. Atticus technically, I mean, I didn't tech... even get a turn with Atticus. Like, yeah, it was one roll, and then I was dead. So yeah, well, I mean, that came down to a roll. Yeah, it was um, one roll, and I was dead. So because it was either going to be you or Trip. I don't want to hear it. Um, I will say this. Me and you, we're going to pull a little... <laughs> not, not that a DM should ever do this. Um, if you had to put money on who's going to die, who who do you think is going to die tomorrow? Who? Uh, we're fighting Shaw? No. Well, I mean, you, oh. if, you, if you choose to. 
You guys are going. You guys are heading in to go fight a Baylor demon. <laughs> Money on Astonis. You think Astonis is going to die? Yes. Only because he never he he's so careful to not get involved. Um, I th- I think he's I think I think he's going to be the one. Okay, I wrote it down. Uh, I I will say, <laughs> God damn it! I cannot believe I'm about to admit this on a podcast, but that's just the kind of person I am. Um, I'm I'm hoping all of you don't die. Okay, I really am. If Astonis is one of the ones to fall. <laughs> And Tez manages to make it out because you play Tez. I'm giving you bonus XP for for guessing correctly. <laughs> Just so you know. Nice. God, that's heartless of me. A DM should not do that. Hey, what am I watching? Do I just click play? Just click on that play. Watch it until you you'll know the part. Um, and then after that, you close it up. Is it gonna be super loud? No. Pick okay. those it should be super up. super loud. Burn those right. Go stupid. Ah, go crazy. Go stupid. Ah, go stupid, go crazy. Yeah. We gotta get to the basement. Yo, he looked really confused. Who know where he the was basement like, ah, is? Like go stupid. Ah, go crazy. I was like, ah, oh, that's great. I had to do it. Okay. So, uh, the basement key. Wait. We were down here. Like you came in through the basement. Why do we. Oh, please, please don't come in here. Please, please, please. Please don't come in here! And everything we studied... I don't think you realize in- how screwed yeah. he is on paper. I shouldn't be watching Like, that. he's screwed on paper. Ah, uh, man. So, yeah, okay. So, I vented about my distractions boss fight. Came clean about that. Vented kind of about my week. It's only been 20 minutes. God damn it. I'm letting everybody... You know what? I've let everybody down this week anyway. I might as well just let all the listeners down to make it really ah, short episode. Shut up. You didn't let everybody else down this weekend. What are you talking about? Yeah. I let people down this week, though. When? When I told Donnie I was going to do... I, I didn't realize we had distractions on Friday. I was like playing on doing uh, Delta Green on Friday, and I was like, oh, well, that's not going to happen. Yeah. But, I mean, Donnie's a big boy. He'll get over it. It's all right. Donnie asked me yesterday. He said, I'll be home in an hour if you want to play some games. I was like, all right. Never heard back from him. That's Donnie's fault. I was like, ah, oh, this new day shift Donnie, man. Ugh. Different person, man. He is. He's he's now the Guy Fieri of the Shrekens media. He really is. He, he's, <laughs> the, he's, the, like, he's the guy It's like, we don't make enough to qualify for his time. <sighs> True story, man. Man, time for this guy, man. Hey, when's you know that's? Hold on, I'm gonna bring this up real quick. When's the Kentucky Derby? Because I know that's a big deal down there, and I know Austin's been busy lately. Is that? Cause... Well, Austin, of course, oh, that's not the until Kentucky May. Derby. That's not until next fucking month, people. Uh, you know, Austin watches the Kentucky Derby. I mean, come on, man. Oh, all it's not ass, even the fact that he watches, it. Thing? dude. It's not even the fact that he watches it. Like a week leading up to it, down there where he lives. They have like festivals and food food carts and everything all in the streets and shit. Like it's a big deal down there. Yeah, you know what? You know what else is a big deal? What? This guy I'm playing in Magic, thinking he's really gonna beat me. Um, eh. it's not. It's not happening. Like he he's stacking this deck with all these merfolk, thinking he's gonna beat me. But I have a trump card in my hand, dude, and I don't really give a shit. So get at me, bro. So okay, uh, now that a couple more episodes have been. Um, Shown, what are your thoughts on Supergirl this season? Spoilers for those of you who don't watch Supergirl or watch. I like want what, to watch Supergirl, it, but aren't caught up. I like Supergirl. Uh, we're going to do it. Season three or season four? Of Supergirl? No, uh, I don't. I don't know. That's a good question. Season, I don't know. One of them. I don't, I don't honestly don't know. Three, maybe. Dude, you realize you have to attack, right? Like, he has flunk. Okay. On to Supergirl, Devin. I know. Um, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what season we're going to hold in a second. Supergirl. Because I want to say this accurately. We're in season... My guess we is three. Season four. Okay. I was wrong. 
Um, we were in season four. So honestly, Supergirl, it's season one was eh, it was all right. Season two, I think, was I don't remember who the villain of season two was. Season two was season the last season was really good. Season four last season was really good. I like those two seasons. This season, I don't know, man. Not feeling it. What do you think like, of just, uh, Lex? I mean, he's all right. He's the guy from the, Two and a Half Men. He's good. I mean, he he's no Michael Rosenbaum. True, true story. He's not even a Lionel, the guy that played Lionel. Also, a true story. I mean, like you know, like yeah. I mean, he, Supergirl. I don't know. Like if Supergirl, like if they call me Supergirl is getting canceled, I wouldn't be surprised. But would you be sad? <laughs> I don't think so. No. no, like week because week by week, Supergirl is that one show where it's kind of just like middle of the road for me. Like, eh, you know, I watch it to kind of move the time. Right. But if I miss it, I'm never upset about it. Right. And you know, it, it's kind of it's had its ups and downs, and I think it's on a down right now. And I just feel that that show kind of meanders on, on occasion. Just kind of meanders on. It's kind of like okay, it's kind what of. We're talking about last episode. They had Russian Supergirl. Yeah. Like again, we had that in a crossover. Like <laughs> we had Nazi German Supergirl in the crossover. I'm like, yeah, I don't that's true. need the same thing again. It, 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 yeah, it just seems like a lot of the same with that show. Which I mean, it's saying something. Trust me, because that's pretty much all the CW shows at this point. Like, I'm not a fan of Flash this season. Yeah, oddly enough, I mean, I love the Flash no matter what. The, the DC, the Flash is my favorite DC character. Um, so it's going to be hard pressed for me to not like anything about the Flash, or or to dislike anything about the Flash. That's I should say. Um, that being said, I think this is probably like there were aspects that were cool in this season so far, but this is probably my least favorite season. And it's the season where the big bad guy is not a speedster for once. Yeah. Like I'm, I don't know. I, I felt like, I felt like he as the bad guy became a, he lasted too long for the payoff that we got. Yeah. Spoilers, man. His kid is the same exact character. Just it's his kid or it's his niece or whatever from the future. I honestly thought it was going to be more about that fucking Caitlin's dad or whatever coming back and, you know, doing some shit because he's a villain now, right? He's got those cold powers. He's like an ice monster or some shit. Didn't they beat him? Like, the immediate? No, he like he left. I thought she beat him, like, right away. No, I think, like, because he was going to get that serum or whatever. He was going to get the serum, and then I realized what he was doing right away. Back and he, he was like, she just tanked them real quick. No, I don't think so. I think, I think she, I think, she, I think she just beat him. I think, I think they just, I think they realized who he was and what his, inten- his intentions were super fast, and then he just GTFO'd. I don't think he's in our, I don't think he's in the pipeline. I don't think he's in Iron Heights. He just, he's gone. Like, he might have gotten his ass beaten, but he didn't get captured or whatever. So, I mean, he's still out there. Yeah. But, I mean, rule number one, if you have a villain, you beat, you you arrest the villain. If you let the villain get away, then that's just, that's asking for him to come back and whoop your ass. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I just don't think anything's going to come out of it. Devin, let me ask you a very odd just question. It's still on topic, technically. Liar. And I, no, it really is. And I know <laughs> we've we've fine. we've done an SU on it before, but um, what are your thoughts on the Suicide Squad movie again? Eh. Yeah. Yeah, like not bad. I didn't hate it. I liked it. I mean, it, it was a, it was a it was a movie. There's a movie, yeah, entertaining, just not great. It was a it was a popcorn flick. Best way I could say it. It's a popcorn there flick. There you go, mom. There's your answer. <laughs> good way to good way to spend time. You know, popcorn flick of a movie, but I wouldn't say it was anything that required my 
attention. Yeah, because my mom, that. my mom was, my mom was telling me some of her topic ideas for us to come to talk about. And she's like, uh, "Oh, you should do a movie. You should do a, you should do a podcast on on that 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 comic book movie where all the villains become." heroes and I was like Suicide Squad she's like yeah it's like yeah I'm pretty sure we've already talked about that one she's like I love that movie it's like really because not many people do like I enjoyed it because it had Harley Quinn in it you know and I really enjoyed the fucking Captain Boomerang in it mm-hmm. Um, I didn't necessarily care for are you fucking- the motives of the evil of the boss of, of like the big evil in the movie, but hell, I guess when you're that powerful and you think yourself a God, what else are you going to do other than build like a giant construct of floating military science and vehicles and shit? I mean, you're right. You're right. So who would win in a fight Thor or Herbie the love bug? Probably Herbie. Hmm. Yeah. All right. He's got cartoon physics. We're really starting to scrape the bottom of this SU barrel today, huh, folks? Uh, we, we we should do another episode at some point for uh, super fights. Dave, if you're listening and you have any more of those super fights. Webby, dead or alive. Um, dead or alive. If you could be a member of any band, what member? Of, what band would you be a member of? And what, and what would you play? Oh, so I have musical talent in this world. Yes, you can play the guitar. Don't lie. I've seen. I've heard you. So, if I could play any instrument, and I could be in any band, does it have to be a band, or can I be put, put like a, a, an artist playing alongside another artist? Like, does it have like? Do you know what I mean? I got you. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um, we'll go with band. Yeah, let's stay band, with band. Band. Uh, if I had to, if I hmm. I would say probably the violin slash fiddle, and I would probably play with flogging Molly. Okay. Put the fiddle. Yeah. Flogging Molly. Yeah. I know that's probably not a, what a lot of people would think. I just really enjoy Flogging Molly, and I love Irish music. Yeah. What about you? Uh, hmm. I think I would probably be another bassist and play in Van Halen. Really? Yes. Hmm. Oh, Van Halen. Oh, you know what else? What other band I would pick? Hmm. If I wasn't picking a band, I would love to like have a guitar jam session with, uh, Wow, I just lost his name, which is stupid. Jimi Hendrix. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I'd love to. Uh, my my. If it wasn't a band, I would also go violin again, and I'd play with Lindsey Sterling. Okay. Now that'd be dead. Like alive, I would probably, uh, probably John Mayer. If I had to go like alive, dude, I would love to play. <sighs> Like the, I'm done. I'm done. I'll say like the guitar, like the acoustic guitar or something. And I'd love to play with the monkeys. That'd be fun. Man, I used to love their show. Man. You know, an odd thing, not a lot of people, and I don't, I don't have, uh, you know, I, I lose a lot of bonus points with people because of my, my opinion on this matter. I'm not really a fan of the Beatles. I have a couple of songs on there that I like, but I'm not the biggest Beatles fan either. Uh, like I respect what they, what they've done for the musical community. 
and the influences that they've had, like the people that they've influenced. And I like a lot of the artists that they've influ that that they've influenced. But I just I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Beatles. Yeah, I mean I, I, that's fine. Like I'm, I, that's totally okay. Mm. I also still think Vanilla Ice is one of the best rappers ever. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just lost bonus points with somebody up there, including Devin. <laughs> I love how you're just like, okay, you took it a little too far. Let's just shut this door now. Ah, <laughs> uh, God dang it, Devin. <laughs> I mean, Vanilla Ice did something. Man, he did Ice Ice Baby and the Ninja Rap. Yeah, that's that's one is one is world popular. The other one is popular amongst a few people. <laughs> the, nin- um, the Ninja Rap is world popular. No, Ice Ice Baby is world popular. Oh. The other one, if you don't care about TMNT, then you don't care about Vanilla Ice. And for any listener out there who's like, "What's TMNT?" Stop listening. Just go. Sleep. There's the door. You can bebop. You can bebop and rock shit of your ass off a damn cliff. That's right. That's how I feel. Still, one of my favorite parts of TMNT two is Seamus and that other dude uh, as bebop and rock steady. Yeah, no, they're they're great. I thought the. I think that movie was great because of them. I still hate the turtles. I still hate the way they look. I'm never going to not like that. They they don't have noses. It's not right. I mean, did they have noses in the original? They had like, I don't want to say beaks. They weren't beaks, but like, yeah, they had like, their faces came out and they had like a predominant like mouth section. These guys have like, it's like flat. And then they have like nostrils right on their face, like right in the center of their face. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Anyway. I mean, they've they've, they've never had... Like, they had like... They they just didn't do like nose holes. In the original, they didn't do nose holes, I don't think. They just had like... They just had... All they had was little nose holes, I think. I don't remember. Just they they well, looked awful. They good, looked but stupid. It wasn't terrible. I hated it. Maybe. Maybe. Do I go for a big creature or do I go for a planeswalker? Big creature. It's, it's a blue deck. He has two mono and four cards in his hand. Big creature. All right. We're going for it. See what happens. See if he counters it or not. He did not counter it. Good job for me. What? Oh, he can he, he do stuff now, though. He returned to my hand. Oh, my God. Yep. He He's going to make me deck. I love blue decks. Fuck, fuck. Blue. Um, you know what? Yeah, I mean um, that's all I got. I just have hey, spe- I hey, I don't those. know what it is. Okay, I, I, you know how I just talked about the monkeys? Yeah. They, I was scrolling through Facebook. They literally just came up on my Facebook feed. Because your phone is is is. Has I'm not on my phone. No, no. We're if, if, on if you can hear it, if you can hear it, I mean everything. That's how it is, dude. Everything's like that in life, unfortunately. It sucks. So if you uh, say something, it's going to just show up under your... your, your... Yeah, because they're always watching. Really? Yes. Porn. Sasha oh Gray. God. Oh, Fuck hey, I say, porn. I say porn, and the next post down is Suicide Girls. That's pretty damn close. I mean, there you go. That's, that's fucked up. That's creepy, Devin. I think I'm creeped out by my computer now. There you go. I, I, I fucking hate this guy right now. I keep playing a blue deck. Well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to put that on pause because we're gonna do a sign off here. We're done with SU. Oh, we're done. Yeah, I mean you're playing you're magic. On- I I'm, I'm struggling to find I'm shit holding to talk a conversation. about. Yeah, but I'm struggling here, and I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> we're not doing a sign off. Yet. Hold on. No, we are. Nope. I'm gonna go wrap a shoelace around my neck and fucking. Oh, you're not shut the hell up. <laughs> Uh, no, but we really are signing off. It's been 40 minutes. 
That's okay. That's about the length of our short episodes when we do them. This fucking guy. So, where can people find you on the internet? You guys can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Pookie and on Twitch at Pookie Killed Me. Also on eBay at uh, Shoot Your Shot. Shoot Your Shot. All right. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter uh, at Jacks Forest Walker, all one word. You can follow me on Twitch if you really want to at DM Webby and on Instagram at patrick.webster52 and on eBay looking for shoot your shot. Um, yeah, that's it. Until next time, everybody. Fuck Booster Gold and oh, stay classy. You heard me. Yep, you heard him, folks. Oh, worst episode ever. This week, man. It's really gotten me, Devin. It's really gotten to me. I was really psyched for today. This fucking guy. All I know is Guy Fury better be a pallbearer at my funeral so he can let me down one more time. Fucking Guy Fieri.